Okay, so let's uh, let's um, let's make this a rain rather than a splatter. It will still splatter, but at least it will splatter like rain. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so let's go back to frame zero. And what I want to do is... I want to take this, I want to raise it up, because you never see where the rain spawns, do you? You just know that it's there from when it hits. Or by how things look, they're wet or whatever. So I'm going to take that. And I'm going to make it, let's say, instead of 20 by 20, let's make it uh, uh, 2,000 by 2,000. And we will change the, first of all, we'll take out the shape, get rid of that. Let's change the birth to stop at 100 amount let's switch from amount to rate and <laughs> what we already see is um there's still coming out from the center we obviously don't want it to do that change from pivot to surface and we want to change let's take out the speed we'll just let it be gravity that's pulling it down and see, once they're hitting now, they're still moving away from the center. The center, of course, is designated by um, the uh, this piece here, uh, the ground plane. And we just change that by going to the um, set speed by surface and the ground plane as a first contact. Um, you want to change that to parallel to surface, is it? Sure, look at that. And now they're going all the directions that rain would. I mean, it's really powerful, the second speed there. But we get the gist there. So in two basic, three basic steps, we've switched it from a splatter to a rain. And now that we have the rain, we can tweak that a little bit to get it look a little bit more like rain. We will cut down the speed to about 300 by, uh, let's say, 75. I'll we'll make sure the divergence is 90. And now we have a rain. And, uh... So let me look at that real quick. The speed is up awfully high still. 200. And we'll cut the divergence down to 45. So now we have a simple range system. I mean, it's it's that easy. As long as you know what you're doing. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what's so important about learning this, uh, the fundamentals, the basics of particle flow is that once you have an understanding of it, boy, you can really um, do some awesome, intricate things that would take so long any other method. I mean, our rain looks good. We could even set a wind in there to push uh, those things or whatever we wanted. But that's a good rain. Um, let's say instead of um, just letting them go on forever. Sorry, let me get this all straight. I'm one of these guys. Instead of letting them lay there forever, say you wanted to emit a shitload of rain particles. And that's a technical term. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with it. A shitload is uh, just slightly uh, below a fuckload. So that's the technical term. And a shitload in this one will be represented by... Well, I guess it's relative. We'll say 200. That's the rate, not the total. We can set this to 1,000. And so, 
I mean, I'm not even really dropping frames there. I mean, it's 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 rendering or not rendering, but refreshing good. And this is a good time to show you this. If you go down here to the time configuration, my real time box is checked, which means that the slider, the time it's moving, wants to be in real time. Um, as the particles start building up, it doesn't want to uh, refresh in real time because all the particles, none of them are dying; they're just staying there. So what you can do to make sure that you see every frame instead of getting a frame drop is uncheck that. Uncheck the uh, the real time box. And uh, you will get every frame. It might be slower because it's only refreshing every time it's ready to display the next step. But you won't get any frame drops. Only raindrops. <laughs> Total improv, I'll be here all week. Um, well, anyway, in order to cut that down, if you wanted a fuckload, let's say uh, a fuckload in this, of course, is relative. 5,000 particles all at once. Now, each one of the 5,000, that's the rate, again, not the total, when it collides with the deflector, is spawning anywhere from let's say half of 25, whatever that is, in, as far as Studio Max goes, I don't know, uh, as far as whatever um, that half is, plus 25. Uh, I covered that in my <laughs> Kiwi crowd destruction tutorial, a little up in the air, that, that, uh, that stuff. <laughs> so instead of laying there, once they get to the final event, which is stay put, we can put a delete in we'll put it right below the speed um, which means that as soon as they get to that they will die or sorry let me drop this back down to just a shitload um, we can uh, click on the delete and change it from all to by particle age, and we can have them, once they get to that event, we can have them sit for 25 frames, um, give or take 10 frames is fine. I'm going to set that to new. So after they sit on the ground for anywhere from um, 15 frames all the way to 35 frames, they will begin to die. So that's what we see. And there's not a... It's not slowing down all that much now. Look at that. And it works out well because... There turns out to be so many, the eye doesn't even really catch them fading away. It just notices that, you know, it's not um, piling up over time. With that all out of the way, I'm going to... <coughs> we'll do... Um, we'll take the same system here and we will create um, a debris ground chunky hit. Okay, so let's do that.